There you go. Hello world, this is Olive Gaming. Hey guys, it's Olive. Uh, you guys know I like coming to you with cool little Twitch tools and, and tips and things like that. Stuff that I find really interesting that helps uh, my stream. And you guys know I like bringing it to you guys because I like sharing the knowledge and the wealth. So here we go. I found something else that's really, really, really cool. I've been looking for something like this for a long time now. Uh, I found a plugin that will register hockey press within OBS uh, and then output that hotkey press to a message in your twitch chat now i'm going to show you guys some of the uses that you can use for this thing uh and tell you guys why it's something that's really really cool also help you figure out uh you know avoid some of the issues that i had with installing it and getting it working so what you're looking at here is a obs script you can find it on the obs website and their script repository uh it's called twitch chat hotkeys you can also find it on github uh, underneath uh, chat spam OBS chat spam uh, there's uh, a link on the guy's website as well where you can find more uh, information as well uh, that website's parts not included uh, so shout out to this guy for writing this thing up this thing's actually pretty awesome had a lot of trouble getting it working in the first place I'll tell you why and what happened so the first thing you need to do is install uh, download the script so you can download the script here uh, from uh, OBS's script repository using the download button. You can also do GitHub if you want to download the entire folder. You can do that here. What you need is the Python script. Uh, you can download the rest if you want. Not necessary, but it's there if you want it. If you want the README and all that information as well, you can also find the README here on the GitHub as well. Now, uh, what you do require to get this thing working is Python. Now, uh, here's where I ran into a lot of issues. So you need uh, OBS uh, 21X and higher, which I have. I have uh, version 22 as of the recording of this video. So as you can see uh, here in the readme, it says, you know, make sure you've got the right version. If you've got OBS 64 bit, download the x86 to 64. Uh, if you've got uh, just 32-bit OBS, you just download the x86 Python. So you'll find that here. Now, if you go and download uh, Python, what uh, the latest version as of the recording of this video is 3.7.1. Do not download 3.7.1. It will not work. That was my issue. I was going in and downloading the latest version thinking uh, that's what you needed. Uh, it doesn't work. What you need to do is download the version of Python uh, close to when this guy wrote this program. So you can see he wrote it March 9th, 2018. So if we go down here, March 9th, 2018, the full version of Python that was out at the time uh, was 3.6.4, which was December uh, 19th in 2017. So download 3.6.4 is what I've got working on right now. And uh, that's it, that's all you need to do on that end. So download and install Python. Uh, once you've downloaded and installed Python and you've downloaded the Python script, we need to go into OBS. So now in OBS, what you've got to do is you've got to go into the tools, go into scripts, uh, and you're gonna see a window pop up like this. Uh, this is not gonna be populated yet, but we're gonna get to that. First thing you want to do is go into the Python settings and you want to map to the right folder where you installed Python. So go ahead, browse, uh, find where you've installed Python. Um, and then if you go in here, you can see there's where I've downloaded Python uh, 3.7 before. What you want to do is use Python, Python 3.6. So select the Python 36 folder, select folder. That's good. Then you're going to go into the script section here. You're going to add the script. Uh, I've got mine in my scripts folder in the OBS uh, data folder, but you can put yours wherever you want. I don't think it's too particular, but that's where I've got mine. So you select the script and load that up. Once you get everything working and your Python's working fine and your script's loaded up, if you highlight this, you're going to get this window on the right-hand side here populating. First off to get everything working is type in your channel for your Twitch. There's mine, Olive Gaming 1985 The user you want it to post as, uh, I'm having it post as myself. You could have it post as your bot. 
And then once you've done that, you need the OAuth code. Uh, just Google Twitch OAuth and you will find uh, the API. It's the same thing if you were to do an IRC client uh, or chatty, something like that. Certain bots need you to uh, authorize it. So once you've done that, uh, oh, and your OAuth needs to be of the user that you're posting as. So once you've done that, paste in your OAuth code there. You can also even pull up the script log here and do a test authentication if you want. And it's going to show you if it actually authenticates OK, which is perfect. That's what we want. Everything's working OK. So we can close that uh, script log for now. We're going to recreate that test one. So if we go in here, this is the message code that's going to get uh, typed when you uh, create the hotkey. So we're going to make one here that's going to say, hello world, this is Olive, can't type, gaming, right? There we go. We're going to hit OK. Now what you want to do uh, is close this window and go into your settings. So file, settings, you're going to go to your hotkeys. At the top here in hotkeys where you see starting stream and all that stuff, if you've got hotkeys set for that, you're going to see hotkeys here. So all you're going to do is set up a hotkey for this. Let's go with uh, my normal order here. We're going to go with control and numpad 9 because nine's not used. So we're going to use that. You're going to hit apply and you're going to hit OK. Now, if I hit control numpad 9, there you go. Hello world, this is Olive Gaming. Now, you guys might not think that this is something huge and fancy, but you know, it, it's all streaming's all about saving time, being more efficient, uh, and uh, you know, it, just doing things uh, in, a, in a way that's maybe a little bit nicer for the viewer experience, where they don't have to have a, a streamer uh, alt tab to type something into chat. Uh, you know, if you, to link them to their Discord or anything like that, uh, it just adds a little bit uh, of a bit more, bit more polish uh, to a stream, I find. Um, and it's just all about uh, increasing that viewer experience. So you can see here, yeah, it did my hello world, this is all of gaming message, which really is just fluff, like who cares? But let's say you've got someone who's come in and just done a sub, and let's say you want to spam them some hearts. Look, there you go. You can show them some love. You can say, you know, thank you for the the, the the new sub. I appreciate it. Whatever. Have your hearts, have your emotes, anything like that. Uh, you can do things like that. You could have a link to your Discord. So I have my command come up from my Discord with the hotkey control numpad one. And then that ha triggers my bot to do my Discord command. So you could take full advantage of your chatbot this way uh, in a way that you've never done before. Um, and I think something like this, sharing this kind of stuff with other streamers is huge. It's all about uh, getting us all together and getting us, uh, you know, uh, looking our best. So guys, links are going to be below in the description. Check this stuff out. I think it's going to be a huge help for myself. Hopefully it's a huge help for you. Show some love to the creator of this script as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing that, and I'm hoping that this video helps with anyone who's had installation issues of this thing uh, like I did in the beginning, because once you get past that hurdle, uh, this thing works really, really, really well. So until next time, guys, take care. Don't do anything too stupid, and we'll talk again soon. All right?